For this Max, I'm going to give you a short tutorial on how to use GarageBand. So for a school project, you'll often be asked to record something. This is how you, o you open GarageBand, it should be here, or you can search it like this. It should be right there, top application. If not, you can just, yeah, it should be somewhere just like in your application folder, or it will come up there, always. This is your search icon, by the way. Um, so you double click your voice if you're just recording your voice, otherwise you can have an instrument or a whole garage band. Very interesting because it's all on your laptop. Then you name it, so I'm going to be testing song, maybe, yeah, testing. Save it where it is, that's important. This does not affect what you actually sound like, it's just your tempo and it has a little beat for you, it goes like... Yep, anyways, so this is your male voice, female voice. For the male voice, this is the here only, here only, and lock. The lock means that you don't, you can't edit it, so if you, act, you don't want to delete something, you can just hit lock, it's safe. This way you can only listen to one at a time, that way you can specifically hear one part. This is your recording, so if I go like this and say, like, hit this button, Hey, this is Max. I'm making a cool test and recording. Yep. And then you go under here. Oopsie. Don't have my volume up. Hey, this is Max. I'm making a cool test and recording. You hear the click right, right there? Yeah. So, it echoes if I have it too loud. You go under here. You come here. You delete. Delete. Simple. See, I cut off my word, so I do Command Z, and then you can try again, so I don't cut it off. It gets rid of that click of your mouse, and it makes it sound much more professional. Then you just drag it around here for moving it around. The male voice actually does have a little higher keys or lower keys in it. The female male has higher. So if you're a boy, you want to use this one. Girl, you click here and start recording. So you just click record, and so forth. Now, this is the audio splicing button, so that's what you can do to take away pieces, or you can just close it. So, this is your recording. This is your main buttons that you'll use, these ones, these ones, and then your little thing up here. For this, you always want to turn yourself up, so that way, like this, so now it's max, the little dial there. And this one you can turn up, this one down here too. Your recording level, you don't want it this high, otherwise it'll start to echo on yourself and um, if you're in a noise environment with people walking around you'll hear them so you want to have it down here like, at, like this you can record in a noisy classroom with a person right next to you and you don't even hear them it's quite cool so yeah I normally leave that about here because otherwise it echoes on itself and it gets irritating so then if you want to add an instrument you click here choose your instrument how about a uh, Jazz, all drums, guitar, acoustic. So I don't have any. They have, should be green. Here we go. I like that. So I'm gonna drag it. Here it creates a new file. It's very simple. I just want to listen to this one. So I hit this. Then, to make it longer, you grab this little corner, it should change your icon. Then you can drag, and it'll just keep repeating itself. If you, yeah, that's it. And if you want to add a song, actually, you go under the last one, music. I'm going to use... Hmm, let's see. I have a lot of songs here. I'm going to just get back up again by Toby Mac. It's, Toby Mac's my favorite artist. You just click it where you want to add it, and it'll pop up. So then, if you want to listen to it, you just click here. You could record yourself up here as you do this. Oh, sorry. So you have to unclick that, then click that, then record. I can go like so you can record. And, uh, let's see, I'll try this. 
turned away when I looked you in the eye. Hesitated when I asked if you were alright. Feels like you're running for your life, but why? Oh, why? So that's it. Let's see, that's gonna get loud. And then you can turn down these guys here. That's the actual band. Like that. That way you can just hear yourself singing. I don't like my singing voice, it's not very good. Anyways, then you have to click back on your mail part and go here. So that's how you adjust your audio. Add music, add actual songs. This is just add parts of songs. Splicing. And that's it. Thank you for your time.